This guys is the MSI GS73VR Stealth Pro. It is a 17.3 inch 4K displayed gaming laptop from MSI that packs in the GTX 1060 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I've already stated the specs for you. Now, what I like about this is it's got a lot of ports. You've got your power, you've got a display port, HDMI, you've got one Thunderbolt 3 and a USB 3 on the right hand side. So a lot of ports there for different kinds of connectivity. Uh, you've also got some hi-fi audio separate from mic and headphones. Three more USB 3.0 ports here on the left hand side, which is really nice. You've got an SD card reader so you can transfer content. Ethernet port so you can actually plug in and connect fast. And you've got, of course, a Kensington lock on this device. Uh, comes with a Steel Series keyboard embedded, which is really nice. Got I really got some nice traction from it. Now, the trackpad itself uh, is okay, not the best. I'm not a big fan of the trackpad, so I suggest using the mouse with this, which, of course, as a gamer, that's what you'd be doing most of the time with this. Uh, laptop. So in terms of pricing, you wonder how much it is. Price about $2,099. Comes a lot of things. It's VR ready. As I mentioned, GTX 1060, 120 hertz. Uh, of course, it's got V-Sync. It's got a PCI SSD. Um, it's got a lot packed into it. Uh, so really nice audio uh, in general when you listen to the headphones. Now, cooling's at the bottom. It actually doesn't run too hot in terms of just uh, the way it actually functions. As I mentioned, that display is a 4K display and really looks gorgeous while you your gaming. In terms of software, there's something called the Dragon Center, allows you to monitor your system, uh, of course, customize the keyboard. It's got its own built in LED wizard, uh, but also you can use the Steel Series uh, um, software to customize that. You can tune your system for, of course, enhanced gaming boost, uh, which I didn't want to do much. I just wanted to actually play it off the bat. You've got mobile connectivity with a mobile app. Uh, you've also got some tools, but you've also got a array of apps from third parties. One of them, of course, is Steel Series. As you can see, I use my Rival 100 mouse there. I can customize my keyboard the best way uh, I want to and use it to the full extent. The keyboard is really nice. Complements your gaming experience on this here. So this is VR ready. So I decided, of course, to pop up my Oculus uh, headset, my Rift headset, and just kind of check out the environment here and see. Uh, I'm not doing any gaming per se, but I'm running a demo here off of it. And it works really well. In terms of handling all your VR needs, this will handle that that effectively without any issues. All right, so let's do some gaming. Now we're playing Battlefield 1. This is the single player right now. We're doing 40, about 34 to 44 frames per second. This is on 4K and we're playing this at Ultra. Now what you're gonna see is that it's gonna vary, especially when you're playing into multiplayer because there's just more, much more going on screen, more players, but things look really sharp and good. I'm showing you this basically, I'm not doing the capture, I'm just showing this on camera because I want you to see the laptop and enjoy the experience and see also what it does frames per second. Now, this is multiplayer here, Battlefield 1, and I'm doing about 36 frames per second on average. Um, and in this is 4K, uh, this is also uh, running this at Ultra. Uh, you can see the difference here. So I'm gonna basically jump out and switch that over uh, to something else. Again, you see the lower frame rate here. Uh, that's one thing you find with the GTX 1060 is that it does a good job, and I'll show you here, it does a fantastic job at 1080p. This is where it really excels and showcases its true potential, where everything runs smooth in 4K, you're doing closer to a 30 frames per second, and that's something that you're going to see. So right here, we moved everything and we've changed it. We're gonna go to 1080p, 60 frames per second, you're gonna see, we're gonna run this at ultra, and we're playing battlefield multiplayer and you can see here it's pretty much a 60 frame per second lock and i'm just going to go down and try and just mow people down around but that's what you the 1060 does with the msi uh, gs73 vr uh, in terms of uh, frame rate 1080p is absolutely solid for a lot of games now there are a few games that that still will not be the case and one of those games actually is uh, Witcher 3. This is 4K again on Witcher 3 and you can see it's 16 frames per second. This 4K Ultra just can't do it. I wanted to show you guys that. So I'm going to go ahead and change that down and change some of the specs here uh, in terms of the graphical resolution. So uh, we're going to move that from Ultra. We'll move it down to say medium and we're going to change our resolution down so we can actually get something uh, more uh, 
at least <laughs> at least something more uh, uh, pleasing to the eyes, especially when just actually gaming because 16 frames per second is absolutely uh, terrible. But you see here, set a 1080p, and uh, right now it's already jumped back up. So 1080p, 60 frames per second. I'm just gonna make sure I actually have that at the right um, um, video setting. So is that gonna be low or ultra? So I'm gonna move this to ultra. And we still have 1080p, and we'll see what we get. So ultra 1080p, you can see already, it's already dropping it down. High is about 56 frames per second. Uh, this is just messing around the settings, but let's go into some gameplay. So you see here, this is ultra, and that is 35 frames per second. So The Witcher 3 is very tasking. It's a very big open world game. That's what you're going to get with this laptop. Um, so you have to understand game to game, there are a lot of changes there. But we're going to swap that out. I don't know why I went into gameplay, but I'm going back into video, graphics. I go ahead and move that from ultra and we're gonna move that to high and you're gonna see now we're gonna get closer to 60 frames per second so it's about 45 it will, it will definitely move up to about 60 frames per second so that's what you uh you can get gaming wise with the msi gsvr uh stealth pro so there are a lot of things to like with the MSI GS73 VR. It, it handles VR very well. Uh, it's got a plethora of ports. Uh, when you're gaming uh, with its GTX 1060, uh, it handles 1080p 60 frames per second very well. Handles 2K well, 4K not so much. Of course, that's also dependent on the game. Now, my only gripe is the fact that it doesn't do 4K well, but it is it does have GTX 1060, which is something that's hard to do in general. So um, I do on the stand that there so i wish they went with the two kids spin or 4k display but that being said though this is a solid gaming laptop you can get it either with a 256 gigabyte variant or a 512 gigabyte variant for the pci um, ssd and there's also a one terabyte hard drive installed with that so you can pick the sub relative price at 1799 or $2,099 from BNH Photos who actually provided this laptop for us uh, to do this review. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the GS73 VR, let us know. This is a really cool gaming laptop that doesn't feel like 17 inches. That's another thing I really wanted to mention. It feels small. It feels like 15 inch laptop to me, uh, even though it is 17.3 inches. Um, I do like the performance that it does with the GTX 1060. I just wish that it went with the 2K display instead. Um, anyway, guys, any thoughts or comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.